YouTube. We are back again today for another game review. And today, I'm today with my lovely wife, Melina. Hello. For another special tag team review. Mm. And today, we're going to be talking about Exit the Game, the Stormy Flight. Immensely popular series from Cosmos Games, which is for one to four players. Ages uh, 10 plus will take about one to two hours to play. And in Exit the Game, this is another one in the series. Except this time, we are on a plane. And this is going to be spoiler free. No spoilers. And you're on a plane, and you're like, oh my god, the electrical's going on on the plane, so i got to jump through a whole bunch of hoops to, to turn on the plane back on. Pretty much what it boils down to. If, and if you want to see the gameplay of it, where obviously there's tons of spoilers, we're not going to spoil anything, uh, but you can see the gameplay, I'll post that down below. But we're just going to be giving our opinion on the game, we'll go over the pros, we'll go over the cons. I want to start with the pros on this one. Um, so first on the pro side, I like some of the puzzles. I think there was ten puzzles, I think I liked four, maybe? Five, potentially? What do you think? It was close to half, and I think it was on the lower side for me. Yeah. I... Yeah, the more I think about this yeah. game, the more I have a hard time recommending this game, which is why we're starting with the pros. I always like to start with the pros when I'm going to bash on the cons. I, mean, um, I love the idea. Yes. Behind it all. The app worked spectacularly well. We had no issues with the app whatsoever. Oh, the app was amazing. Complete tutorial. There, the Cosmos app is just absolutely outstanding. If you're not using their app, I would wholeheartedly recommend it. I'm very excited to learn some of their uh, chunkier games too, like, say, Catan, Chunky. But but this one walked you through it. had special graphics and moving things. Very, very nice tutorial. We didn't use the rules at all. So that was well done. S story is not one of the pros the puzzles were not one of the pros the artwork was not particularly enthralling to me these are all cons do you have any any more pros i mean you, i'm really the no. more i think about this let's just Stretching get to the cons let's start let's start beating this bad boy up so first the puzzles i didn't particularly like the puzzles there were a couple that i was like man that's really cool that's really clever but most of them was just like that was stupidly hard you have to think about it like it, it just didn't seem obvious after, even after getting the solutions. And we had to use 14 solution, uh, fourteen hint cards, and most of them just didn't seem obvious. Like, there was one where we had to, like, bend. Well, we had to look at something in a... Well, when you open it, you're going to see a mirror. Well, you, the first thing you open the box, you're going to see a mirror. So, obviously, you're going to use that mirror. We had to utilize the mirror, and we... we we tried to utilize the mirror, and we were like, okay, I can't figure it out, can't figure it out. So we went to hint one, and then to hint two, and then eventually to the final hint. And even when we had the solution, we still could not figure out the proper way to do it. And I think that happened twice. It so 20% of it for us was, I hate to say it like this, but it, it was broken for us. Like, we tried. Like, we the, the video is like two hours and 15, 20 minutes, something like that. We tried after we got the solutions. We still could not figure some out. So 20% of the game immediately, at least in my, in my mind, was kind of a waste of time for us because I felt There was cheapened. no way for us to figure it out. Well, there was, but it, I, I, I mean, you just have to stumble onto it, I think. Like, I, I don't know. That might just be me being nitpicky here. It, all, it could also be that maybe just other people are better at it than we are okay and that's a very fair point which is one of the 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 the, the primary cons you're going to have with a game like this also the player count says one to four no 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 no. do not try and play this at four players i don't think or three players two, even that two matter. is even stretching it yes because this fell into the problem that i have with a lot of escape room games which is you have someone who's driving the car and that changes from time to time mm -hmm. but everybody else is just kind of sitting there and especially when you look, when you're looking at the mirror on one of the, well. I mean, like, the the pro you have of having more than, like, one person is that it's not just you trying to figure it out. Yes, absolutely. And you've got multiple minds working on it. But at the same time, that's a con, because that's going to make it but really with, difficult working yeah, by yourself. Yeah, you kind of, well, yeah. <laughs> I kind of, I guess it's a double-edged sword, the player but count. it doesn't have to be. Like, I've, I've done some of these. We did an exit one before where there was enough things going on that we were kind of actively engaged. And what this one did, which I thought was, uh, I hope it's not unique. Maybe it, maybe it isn't unique. It said, all right, you cannot go to, you can't go to the second riddle until you solve the first riddle. You can't go to the third riddle until you solve the second riddle. And I like it when there's like, all right, we're working on this riddle, this riddle, this riddle. So you can have different people doing different things at the same time, which is how an escape room actually works. And this one, maybe in its, its plight to be 
a little bit more simple because it is two out of five on the complexity rating, they were just like, all right, we're going to focus on having one specific thing you're solving at a time. And by doing that, that led to long periods of time throughout the thing. I'd probably say there's probably a solid 40 to 50 minutes in that video where I am just sitting here doing literally nothing except maybe racking my brain trying to think of something while you're, you know, fiddling this, doing I mean, that. There was one clue that I was working on for quite some time, and it was definitely not a two person. Yeah, job. and this is the same issue we ran into with the Mar MacGyver escape room game. Don't look for my review of that. It was so uh, unsatisfactory we never finished it. But, you know, that's a problem. All these things are problems. The more I'm thinking, like when I first started in on this, I was like, all right, maybe I'll go with like a 5.8 or something like that. But I can't recommend this to, to just about anybody unless you were the most diehard escape room fan, I think. Because the story didn't grip me. It was not about the story. It's not about the artwork. The puzzles, there were some that were, were pretty dang good. But most of them were just like... Oh, okay. Like, like, so nothing about this particularly stands out to me. Mm -hmm. Except for the fact that I felt like cheapened out of 20% of the game because we, it's even with the solutions, we couldn't figure it out. Game. But no, I feel like the other escape room games that I played for the most part have been better, even though there was another one that actually really bombed with me. I think I gave it like a three. I think I'm going to give that about the same thing here. I'd say a three or a four, just because I, I don't know who I can recommend this to. Unless you are collecting the series, you want to go through everything. Because the other con is with this, sometimes you get some of these escape room games where if you're willing to be a little bit gentle and a little bit dainty with it, you can reuse it. You can say, oh, I can give this to, to Jerry over here and Jerry can replay it. Not with this one. Stuff no. is cut, stuff is shredded, stuff is written on and bent. Not happening Not with happening. this one whatsoever. So you're getting one, one shot use. here. And I can't recommend this one shot to just about anybody. No. Even, even, okay. Okay, this is a solid question. Let's say I find this bargain bed. See, it's, say it's you know it's on clearance somewhere. You know, because I've seen some a few of them at GameStop. I think it was a different series. But they were like seven, eight bucks. Seven, eight bucks for this. We got two hours no. of entertainment. No, really? That's Not for seven or eight bucks. Five bucks. Find it at Goodwill unopened for like three bucks, maybe. Okay, with tax. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want me to wait until I have price day? How how savage yes. are we going here? Okay, buck fifty. That's that's the <laughs> cutoff. Okay, so we put a number on it. Then I, I have the ten point system for me personally. Seven is good. Eight is great. Once you get to around six or five, it's okay. I think this is I think this is less than okay. The more I think about the problems that I have with this game, I think it's less than okay. I think I'm about a mm -hmm. three point five. Yeah, no, I think I'd have to go lower. Woo! I'm not... Dig it. What is it? What you going? We'll average them out. That's what we'll do. 3.5. What's your number? You can't go... One. One's like completely broken. So whenever I do... so, I've, I've only ranked like a few zeros and ones. And that's a game that is absolutely completely broken. Like 100% of the puzzles would have to be broken on this. Where you just couldn't figure them out. So one is like just off limits I'd say for this personally. Um, yeah, it's not Two is like the broken. worst... I like, mean you could see it. Like they're... It's there... Like, it's, they're just they're so close, but they're so far away from Give it. Give me a number. You can use points, too. Three. Okay. So, three, so I'll give it a 3.25. Final rating from Bowers Game Corner. 3.25. Exit the game of Stormy Flight. Not one that either of us can recommend. And, and just the more I think about it, the more it, it upsets me. And that, honestly, could very well just be our opinion... Well, yeah, it's a review. I, well, no, I know that. <laughs> That's not the point. I mean, some somebody else may come into this and go, yeah, no, I like that game a lot. Well, let's look and at those. And not have any issues with any of the puzzles like we did. Well, there's the thing. It, it, yeah, because here's the thing. If we had just somehow turned the mirror in the perfect right direction, and there was one where I did not follow the directions correctly, just straight up, uh, but that one wasn't, I don't feel like that one. I don't think that one was very well explained. Well, that, that was also on me, I think. But, anywho, Exit Room, the game, the Stormy Flight, have you played it? What did you think? Are you screaming at the screen, saying we're a bunch of morons? Which, by the way, 14 hit cards. We, we are well a bunch of morons. We very well could be, yes. <laughs> I, I drag you down. I, I like to think that you're much smarter, and I've just dragged you down over the years. Yeah, I don't know about that. <laughs> but that is Exit the Game. It looks like my big cup of tea. Um, the, the, I guess, get it. But I, I can't recommend that. I mean, if you like the other ones, you're bound to like this one. That is not the case. I've liked some of these a lot.
Okay, well then never mind. Yeah, I, I've been very hit or miss with the escape room games. I think I've done uh, four or five of these, and it's very hit or miss. But... What do you think about the Escape Room series? What's your favorite? What's your least favorite? Let me know in the comments below. Let us know that you, one that you would recommend. If you're a big fan of these, give me a one-star one that we can start off with little baby steps on. Uh, and let me know about that in the comments below. And as always, thanks for your time, YouTube. Thank you, dear. You're welcome.